Look guys, I have said this before. The goal of life is life itself. There's a lot thing more to life than life itself. But to figure that out, one must achieve every other thing in life. you should knock the doors of every places like make a earning you should knock that door and it will open and you will see when that door opens there's nothing left inside that will fulfill you then you will knock the door which you will get married when you open that door you will see there's nothing inside that will fix you then you will go on and knock the door where you travel the world you will come around this world and you will also see that nothing there will also fix you once all the doors have been opened the only door left is life and that life is the stillness the peaceful abundant silence which the east and call meditation but it's not an action being still is a way of living you cannot act every second you cannot act breathing breathing just happens that's how being still happens so that doesn't mean you ha- you should don't have a goal and just simply sit and do nothing because doing nothing and being still are very two different things what i'm trying to say is strive for something knock on all the doors so only you can find the only door left worth going into and that will ever keep you alive is the door of life itself that life is not in the past it's not in the future but it is in the present that door you are going to knock is not in the future the door which you have knocked is not in the past but that door is in the present open only thing you got to do is go inside and you will realize the present is all that is and being st- by only being still you will able to understand what life is so what i'm trying to say guys is the power of now the knowness the stillness the internal truth is always present within you you don't have to search it for search it outside you don't have to search it anywhere else in the external part of the world it's already within you let me tell you a story once there was a beggar he was sitting on a box and he was begging once a stranger came and said i have nothing to offer you beggar but what's inside the box you are sitting on the beggar told i don't know i have been sitting on here i i have been sitting on that box for long 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 time ago i don't even remember that. i never thought of opening it up the stranger asked him why don't you open it up and the beggar opened up the box and what was inside the box was gold lot of amount of gold this was a treasure box that's what is the power of now it is the first story in the book of the power of now written by eckhart tolle it is one of the profound books ever written 
I have read that book so many times. I cannot remember how many times I have read that book. I bought that book around 2006 and still I am been reading that book. Today's date is 2023. Every time I read it it's a new information I'm getting new information. Every time I read it I feel the power within it. I'm very much fascinated how this book has turned my life around it has taught me how to be still and observe my mind not only observing my mind but observing my presence it has taught me a way of life where i was the beggar and the box i was sitting on i haven't known for 30 years that it was gold inside and that gold i am trying to say that gold represents my inner peace myself within all i already had it within myself but i never realized it was there the moment i read that book i discovered i was the beggar sitting on that box which was already within myself which was already within my grasp that i only need to open it up see guys you should read this book i recommend this book to everyone this is one of the most profound books in human history everyone should keep it everyone should buy it there are a lot of book reviews i am not sure if i am even giving the right review right amount of review to this book the lot of reviews you can check it out this i think also an audio book and it's wonderful there's a cut tolle channel he speaks a lot of lot about the presence stillness and the power of now so guys i recommend this book power of now to you and i hope you'll read it not once but many times over the year and you will keep it by your bedside thank you guys peace